Hey guys, hope you're having an awesome day. I hope that the wind isn't too terrible when you watch the replay for this. I will find out shortly. But I wanted to talk today about something that has been coming up and one of the most popular Instagram posts I've ever posted that got a lot of shares and why. So recently I shared a post that said, you're not entitled to feel like it all the time. And what I was really referring to for my audience, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a business coach for coaches, specifically wellness coaches, health coaches, mindset, you know, that kind of thing. And I was kind of saying, we're not gonna feel like doing all the things in our business all the time. Sometimes things are gonna be annoying, sometimes things are gonna be technical, sometimes things are gonna be tedious, and you don't have to feel like it all the time. Um, and once you give yourself the freedom to say, I'm not gonna feel like it all the time, and that's okay, I'm still gonna be able to do things, and it's not a valid reason to not move forward, uh, things will be looking up for you. And so with that post, it was shared a lot, in all, and I think the reason why is because I think that there's like an epidemic going around with online business people that it's just so easy. You can do it overnight. It's an overnight success. And here's this coach who started yesterday and they have a jet and they're traveling the world and having this online coaching programs and they skip all the foundational stuff and they just launched a group program with 500 people and all this stuff. And I think it's giving people a false idea of what it's like to start your own business, to start an online business in today's world. Um, and I think that we live in a time where it's easier than ever to do, but I think that people get just like with health and wellness products and pictures and campaigns where we're seeing people who are Photoshopped, people who are dehydrated doing a photo shoot to make their muscles look better. Um, people who maybe have been like doing a cut like program for this, specific photo shoot and we think that's everyday real reality and and like what we should strive for i think the same thing is happening in the online coaching world people are feeling entitled like it should test it should take me you know a month and i'll have everything set up and i'll be able to jump right into speaking and like doing all the things and and what i try to um, focus on with my clients is getting focused and building the foundations in an order that makes real sense and sets them up for consistent profitable success instead of like jumping around losing focus trying you know to skip steps um, because at the end of the day it's just like if you were going to do a drastic diet and cut everything out and skip the real like process of building habits overcoming your food like drama emotional eating and stuff sitting with feelings all that stuff like if you skip to a drastic diet or something you usually will right stop like we all know most people stop right and so it's the same thing with your coaching business we want you to stop stopping and stick with it for the long run and set up the foundations properly and put things in order and you know i really think that it's a unfortunate that there's so many people now thinking that it's just you know that they're entitled and it's just gonna happen overnight and whatever and yes it can happen faster than ever before because of the world we live in today and because of the tools we have available to us which is amazing and a very good reason to start but it's not like you know you're gonna I don't think people should go into coaching because they think it's gonna be an overnight success and really really easy that's my message of the day. So that's my disclaimer for new coaches. And if you're a new coach, I want you to share one thing that, one reason why you started a coaching business. Is it because you really want to help people with X, Y, or Z? Is it because you have a vision of being able to um, be flexible and work from home and help people? What is it for you? and make sure you like the reasons why you're starting your business. Make sure it's not a reason like trying to be like somebody else or because you saw somebody online who did it overnight and they're an overnight success. By the way, it's usually no one is ever an overnight success. They're either not telling you something or they had fast growth for putting in a lot of systems and work and careful hiring and things like that. So. That's the message. Have an awesome day, awesome night. And tomorrow I'll be going live 
at 4.30 p.m. either in the Health Coach Nation Facebook group or on this Facebook page. Either way, it'll be shared in both places, but try to catch a live if you can, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.